Why do things delay when we often come at the crossroad of life and we want certain things done in our lives? All of us one time or the other have prayed and asked God for something and have had to wait for the answer. You see, waiting is perhaps one of life's most difficult tasks. We hate the fact that we have to wait for something. We live in a society where everything is instant. We have instant potatoes, we have instant cameras, we have instant credits, we have instant pudding. And all of this simply says, you can have what you want without the wait. We have become a society where delays are not accepted or tolerated. We have become a society of impatient people. And now, it's even pouring over into the church. But the fact of life is, delays are an everyday occurrence. We hate to admit it, but we all face delays in our lives. We can't live without delays. If you go to the doctor, you have to wait in the waiting room for your turn to see him. And if you go shopping, you have to wait in line. If you go out for fast food, you have to wait in the slow line to get your fast food. So when we're facing delays, it is easy to become discouraged and to give up on what we're waiting for. As it relates to your life, in the spirit, things don't always happen at the snap of a finger. Sometimes, God does something instantly and at other times, he just says wait. Now you must understand that waiting time is testing time and not wasted time. So any time you understand that waiting time is testing time and not wasted time, any time that you spend waiting on God is never wasted if you do it wisely. Yeah, so this is just a note for those of us who are stubborn and hard-headed. You know, sometimes it is God that does the waiting. He's waiting for us to obey him so that he can bless us. Because God will not bless us if we are living in disobedience. Did you hear that, child of God? I said it. God will not bless us if we are living in disobedience. Child of God, I have seen that most times when we face times of delay, we can become frustrated, discouraged, and even angry. All of this combined together can become a breeding ground for the enemy to tempt you to quit and give up. But Jesus said in Luke chapter 18 verses 1 that men ought to pray and not faint. In other words, we need to be constant and persistent in our prayers. There's no need to grow faint and weary to the point that we quit and give up. What Jesus is saying is, keep on praying and don't give up. In short, don't give up. Look up. The Apostle Paul said it in this way. He said it in Galatians chapter 6 verses 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Beloved, I want to share with you some of the things that cause delays in our lives. Demonic activity can cause delays in your life. In the book of Daniel chapter 10 verses 13, it says, But for 21 days, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Daniel's answers was delayed by the activity of demonic forces sent to disrupt the plan of God. The verse 13 says that for 21 days, the mighty evil spirit who overrules the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Now this delay was only temporary. God's plan will always be accomplished. Verse 13 continues, then Michael, one of the top officers of the heavenly army, came to help me so that I was able to break through these spirit rulers of Persia. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 18, Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Satan will continue to try and hinder us from being all that God wants us to be and from doing all that God wants us to do. Sometimes, too, there could be divine delays. You know, this is perhaps the hardest one to deal with. Divine delays come without explanation. Divine delays are hard to handle, especially in a crucial time of your life. When I think about these divine delays, I think about Martha and Mary when they sent for Jesus to come and heal Lazarus. Jesus delayed going to them, and as a result of this delay, Lazarus died. So this was a crucial time in their lives, yet the Lord Jesus tarried without explanation. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. And when he heard therefore that he was sick, 
he stayed two days still in the same place where he was. This is hard for us to understand. You may wonder, why did he delay in coming to heal Lazarus? Sometimes, the understanding only comes after the miracle. I believe that there are four reasons for divine delays. God wants to demonstrate his power over our impossibilities. You've heard the saying, when you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot on it and hang on. Try this one on for size. When you come to the end of your rope, you will find God. You know, I want to say that again. When you get to the end of your rope, you will find God. To demonstrate his power over death, when Lazarus died, the Lord Jesus waited until he had been dead for four days. The people of that day are much like the people of our day. They were superstitious. They liked to explain away the supernatural miracle working power of God. They would say he wasn't really dead. He was just in a coma. But when the Lord Jesus showed up four days later, they knew that Lazarus was truly dead. When the Lord Jesus showed up, he showed out by demonstrating his power over death. He proved that he was and is the resurrection and the life. He conquered death, hell and the grave through the power of his resurrection. To build their faith in him, when you know that all hope is gone and only a miracle will do, and then it happens. It becomes a faith building experience. So when you're facing delays in your life, remember that you are greatly loved. If you don't remember this, you will become a prime target of the enemy. He will jump on your shoulder and say, if God loved you, he would not allow this delay on your life. Or he might say, God doesn't love you. Because if he did, he would answer your prayer right away. And he will begin to point out all the people that are being blessed and tell you how God loves them more than you. The devil never shows you the persistence and faithfulness of those that are experiencing breakthrough and getting blessed. He doesn't tell you that these folks that are being blessed are being blessed because they refuse to listen to him and give up. No, he didn't tell you that because he wants you to give up and quit finally. I want to end by saying that we're going to have delays in our lives and they may be the result of demonic activity, the result of disputes in the home or it may just be a divine delay just so that God can demonstrate his power on behalf of your life. So when delays come, know who you are. You're greatly loved, you're highly thought of and you're highly esteemed by God. God is working with you and when you face those lonely delays in your life, God comes alongside you to pick you up and strengthen you. God comforts you by speaking to you and listening to your cries when you call upon him. God stretches out his hand to you to help you through these times of delay. So remember, delays are not denials. Sometimes, it may just be a timing issue. God's timing is always perfect. So wait on God in times of delay. It may be that God has something better just a little later down the road. Thank you for watching. God bless you.